Hey guys, good morning or good afternoon, good night, wherever it is that you are, but it is the morning here where I am. I just woke up. I don't know if you can tell. I have still like the little like sleepy look on my face. I have to be ready in about an hour, actually less, like 30, 45 minutes. So I wanted to show you guys what is like my everyday go-to daytime summer look. It's going to be pretty light on the face, pretty comfortable. A lot of, I mean, I already have my skincare on, so I'm not going to go into like my summer skincare routine. But I know so many of you have asked me for a skincare routine. And I promise, promise, promise I'm going to get that up pretty soon actually um just let me know in the comments below like what type of skincare routine do you want do you want like an easy quick go-to skincare routine do you want like a hydrating skincare routine like a summer skincare routine like let me know because there are so many variations that i do according to like the situation the season how my skin is and things like that so let me know in the comments below so make sure you are subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that little notification but notification notification button below so that you can be notified when i do upload i am gonna start uploading much 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 more often i am working on a schedule since a lot of you guys that are have are subscribers and have been around for a really long time know that i am like really 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 busy with my actual like work life so i'm kind of like trying to figure that out and figure out a schedule that works because i do love 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 doing youtube i love filming videos i love talking to you guys on social media and all those things so i want to make both things work so make sure you have the notifications on so i put my hair so i put my hair back in a scrunchie i just discovered these little guys i'm like probably like really late to this but these things look like those cords that like you put like around your arm and like your keys hang from for like a lock you get what i'm saying i don't know if that's exactly what they're used for but that's what i associate these with and i love this I love this. My friend bought them for me at Riley Rose, and I'm going to go probably today um, and go get some. So I'm obsessed with them. They don't break my hair because I am a savage, and, like, I rip things off, which is why, like, I have so much, like, breakage in my hair. Okay, so the first thing you are going to want to do is you want to make sure your skincare is on. Whatever skincare works for you during the summer to keep you hydrated. My go-to sunscreen lately has been this guy right here. This is not my absolute favorite sunscreen my favorite sunscreen is the neogen sunscreen is amazing it leaves like a really nice like dew to my skin this one does too but this is my go-to lately this is the etude house surprise mild watery light sunscreen it has spf 50 and is so so good on the skin it has like a really nice like lemony scent and it absorbs very quickly for foundation i want to use something that has decent coverage enough to even out my skin tone a little bit but still looks like skin and is hydrating so i'm going in with the april skin rose glam moisture cover foundation this is shade 23 and it also has spf in it this is spf 30 this is such a cute packaging like come on this has like a little brush in it that's supposed to look like a rose i don't know if you can like clearly tell there which is nice i don't like to use it to apply and blend in the product because i feel like it gets a little streaky so i just like to do it with the brush to just distribute the product on my face so i just go in there and then i just put some on my face literally just like that now i'm gonna start blending that in with my damp beauty sponge if you guys like a little more coverage for your daytime summer makeup, that's totally fine. You can use a more cov uh, full coverage foundation or something like that. I like something that's more like, like I said, more skin and just brightens up the face a little bit. I don't want too much coverage. I just go in with concealer after to get any like little spots I may want to cover. But when it comes to my base, I just want something that maintains the skin looking very like youthful and radiant and dewy i don't mind like you know freckles peeking through a little redness and all that it's like a no makeup makeup look during the summer kind of kind of because there's there's quite a bit of makeup right there for this look i'm not doing any sort of contouring i'm going to be using a color that is a little bit lighter than what i would normally use for cream bronzing but it still gives like that sun-kissed nice bronze 
This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal, which is super, super, super affordable. This is literally like two, three dollars. This is the color medium bisque, and I'm just gonna start putting it in the perimeters of my face and around my cheeks, normally where I would powder bronze. Now I'm going in with this Real Techniques brush. This is their buffing brush, and it is really, really, really nice for blending out any cream products, for also blending out foundation. So personally for these type of looks, I love, love using this. Like look at how quickly it just starts blending it out. For concealer, I'm gonna be using something that's a little bit heavier than what I normally go for. For looks like these, since I'm gonna just do a little bit of like spot correcting and just kind of correcting the under eyes right here, that like dimension that I have, I'm gonna be using something like the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm gonna be mixing a little bit of light with light medium, and then I'm gonna go in with a concealer brush and just start tapping it in the areas that I want a little more coverage. You can see that just by placing a really really light amount of a much thicker concealer and just tapping it in rather than blending it out with a sponge gives a nice brightness to the under eyes you can see the difference here the eye that does have concealer versus the eye that does not have concealer it just completely brightens the under eye and just makes you look so much more awake now I'm gonna go and just spot conceal the other areas around my face that I want to cover that may have like a little bit of redness or a little bit of like hyperpigmentation that I don't want. For eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Benefit Cabral Pomade, but first I'm going in with this e.l.f. wax pen and I'm just laying the brow hairs down. Then I'm going to go in and fill in any sparse areas with my brow pomade. I'm not going to go too heavy on the brow. I still want it to look like natural-ish. And then I'm going to set it with my Essence Make Me Brow Gel to give it a more like fluffier look. The face is looking good. It is looking natural and dewy. I love it. I love, love makeup looks like this. It's just so, so pretty and like just so wearable and so comfortable. For highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Tartist, Tartiest Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. This is the color Stunner. I have so many cream highlighters and liquid highlighters, but I'm deciding to go with this one because I feel like this one has like a little bit of like a nice tint to it. It has like a little champagne-y tinge to it and I feel like it really goes well with like that more like bronzed natural look. And just start blending it in on the high points of my cheekbones. I'm also gonna put a little bit under the arch of the eyebrow just to kind of give that little like C shape. I love that. Whenever I see people take pictures and they're like sideways and you see like that C shape, I'm like, Okay, so now I gotta kind of like hurry because I'm super running late. My dad literally just texted me and was like, just come over now. Anyways, so for eyes, I'm gonna use this little compact right here. This is from BH Cosmetics. These are Modern Neutrals To Go Palette. This is really good for traveling, for just throwing in your makeup bag, throwing it in your purse, for touching up, for anything like that. I'm gonna go into these two colors right here. You can use any brown or any like toasty, like nudie color. This is just gonna go on the outer portion of the eye. Did you guys know that these little things are actually really, really good for eyeshadow? Like if you ever wanna pack on a glittery or like a shimmery, not glittery, more like shimmery eyeshadow, you just use this and it packs it on literally like if you're packing it on with your finger. So I'm gonna use this guy right here since I already kinda have it, why not? I'm going into this color right here. This is like a more like nudie type of color. I want something just to create a little bit of dimension on the outer portion of the eye. So I'm gonna start just packing this on right here. Like seriously, I used to think before that these things were like a waste. I was like, what is this crap for? But it is so, so good for packing on eyeshadow, like it's like really good. I was like contemplating buying like this, but like a much larger one because they seriously are so good. 
Now with this little flat brush, this is like a little flat definer brush. This is from the Vintage Cosmetic Company. I'm going into the darker brown. You want to go into a color, not like a black color, but a nice brown color because we're going to create a little bit more dimension there. I normally would just leave it like this, like in a really, 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 really bare-faced natural makeup type day. But I want a little more dimension than that because I'm going to put a lip that... It's gonna have like a little more color like a little bit of like cherry to it so i kind of want to balance this out and i'm just pressing it in very close to the lashes just keeping it on the outer portion of the eye and that is literally it for the eye look i love it i love that it just kind of like defines the lash line a bit but it still looks natural and really pretty now i'm going to give my lashes just a bit of a curl this is the e.l.f. Lash Curler, if you guys are wondering, which is pretty good. It's $2 only, and it works really well for $2, so I'm definitely not complaining. I have never invested like a lot of money into lash curlers, because I'm like, eh, for what? So if I try one that's better, I'll definitely let you guys know. But for now, this one is pretty bomb. Now I'm going to grab a spoolie and I'm gonna spray a little bit of setting spray on that. This is something that I personally like to do. And I'm gonna go into the top of the lashes and kind of just brush them up. Like curl them, like so they can kind of like flip up, if that makes sense. And then I just go in through the bottom and brush through them to kind of just spread them out because my lashes tend to kind of like clump up together so i want to make sure that they look you know nice and niche for lip i'm definitely gonna go in with a lip tint you guys know i'm obsessed with lip tints and i received these recently in the mail and i'm obsessed these have to be so far my favorite peripera lip tints like they are so good this is their sugar glow in the shade number four and number one they this one is very light but it has its tint like don't be fooled she's tinted so i don't know if to go with more like a red mm -hmm. this one's a little more cherry okay i'm gonna go in with this guy right here like look at that wand it's perfect it like hugs the bottom lip perfectly Now I'm going to use a little bit of blush. This is Milani's blush in number 8 T Rose. This is a powder blush. This is not like a cream blush. But for a look like this, I would recommend maybe going with like a cream blush. I have like I have dog hairs on all my stuff. But this is just a really nice like subtle blush. Either way, I'm just going in and tapping off the excess. I don't want too much. Just something to kind of balance out that like rosiness. I'm tapping it in really, really, really lightly on the cheek. Like I said, it's the lightest, lightest, lightest amount. I'm not putting a lot, just adding a little more color on the cheeks. And now we are going to set the face and we are done. I'm using the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, which is my favorite. So this is the finished look. This is such a great, like, fresh-faced, easy Go to look for the summer. It's not heavy. It's not uncomfortable on the face. My skin feels so nice, so hydrated. It's totally about just doing your skincare and then putting this makeup on and knowing what to put, when to put it, not putting too much, not going overboard, just things that subtly enhance your already beautiful face. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, for sticking through with me. Make sure you are subscribed because if you made it this far and you are not subscribed, fam, like, I, I don't know. I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.